cleaning video I'm doing another DIY I've also done DIY boyfriend jeans so if you haven't seen that video definitely check it out but today I'm going to be doing DIY denim fringe which has been a huge trend lately so it looks like this this is the size that I've already done and this is what I am starting with so I haven't done this pair but if you want to see how I do it then just keep watching so the first thing that you're going to do is go and grab either an old pair of jeans or head to the thrift shop and grab a pair of jeans that you want to make look like fringy on the bottom and I was lucky enough to find this awesome pair at Goodwill and they're like a cropped flare um, denim pant which I just think looks so 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 cute with this added detail and um, DIY but I think it also looks great on like straight leg jeans um, even skinny jeans it could look really cute on and then once you have done that we will get into the process and I'll show you guys how to do this so roll the clip so once you have your pants all you're going to need are a scissors and a seam ripper and we're going to start off by just cutting off the hem of whatever jeans you're using with a scissors and just cut it as straight as you can. And then you're going to want to take your seam ripper and begin ripping the side seams and you're going to want to rip them as far up as you want depending on how long you want your fringe to be. And the main thing is just that you're ripping all of the stitching because you want the threads to be loose. So then when we move on to ripping out the white horizontal threads, they can slip right out of either side. And so basically I've done a video on this previously on distressing denim, but you basically just want to pull out the white horizontal threads. And as I'm showing here, I think kind of the best method is to pull on one of the strings so it wrinkles the pants and that way the thread becomes really easy to grab with your seam ripper and pull out even when the fringe starts to get really long because it can be kind of difficult to get the threads out. Just continue this process until you get the length of fringe that you want. I suggest throwing on some Netflix and grabbing a snack because it can take a little bit but you should end up with something like this. And then you will wash and dry your jeans to fluff them up a bit and look that, make them look a little bit more distressed. And this is the finished product. Now you could totally like bleach the ends or cut them up or make them longer and more distressed. There's a million ways you could go with this, so definitely make it your own and play around a little bit. But I thought I would show you guys how mine came out and how I would style these. Overall, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me personalize my jeans with denim fringe and hopefully got inspired to spice up a pair of your own. Okay guys, so that was my finished video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please give it a huge thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and comment down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.